Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about humping uh, and one of the most misunderstood um, and probably mishandled dog behaviours out there. Um, most of the dogs we encounter have in our lives are dissexed. Now obviously if your dog isn't dissexed then um, you know there's a really obvious reason why the dog will be humping. But if your dog is dissexed and sometimes even if it's not, um, then the chances are you might not know why humping is happening and why your dog is doing this behavior. Uh, it's not dominance. Dogs do not try to dominate or submit to one another. So we can rule that out as a factor. Um, what it is, nine times out of 10, is a comfort behavior. Humping feels good, believe it or not. And so in moments of stress, dogs will often do comfort behaviors to make themselves feel better. This could be positive or negative stress, but nonetheless, the dog's arousal level has got to a point where the nervous system in the dog's brain has started going, oh shit, this is high, what do I do about this? Hey, do something that makes yourself feel better. And hum humping, like I said, it feels good. It's a very common comfort behavior. The reason why understanding this is so important is because if you think that it's trying to dominate, uh, then you might correct it. If you, th if you come from the understanding that your dog is uncomfortable, you're more inclined to try and help it. And the way you handle it is really important because, you know, if you reprimand a dog that's already uncomfortable, you'll compound the stress. Whereas if you go, oh shit, better not add fuel to this fire, and try and make it feel better, then you will probably make it feel better and decrease the chances of it happening again in the future. Uh, common, common times where dogs hump, you know, let's give, uh, let's give you some examples um, of when dogs would hump after meal times. So after a meal, you know, food brings, uh, makes the dog all excited, gets the dog's adrenaline up, dog eats, and then may go and hump its teddy or its mate or, you know, the cat, whatever. Um, it's a come down after positive stress. Nothing wrong in terms of the dog isn't like worried or anxious or anything like that, but it's a come down after that amount of adrenaline. Another really common one would be when people arrive, like maybe guests arrive or maybe when you arrive home. Um, yeah, of course, yeah, massive adrenaline hit again. People present themselves, they're new, they're stimulating, it's normally like at the first point of contact with somebody coming in the door like, hey, how are you? All the noise, all the movement, and the dog gets an adrenaline hit, and it will defer onto either the guest or the person most familiar to them, or maybe, like I say, the other dog in the house or the cat. Um, again, it's just the dog trying to self-soothe. This could be positive or negative stress, depends if they like the guest or not, but either way, it's just adrenaline, and it's come down. Um, other times might be where, for example, the dog is playing. So it might start playing with you and it might start humping your arm or your leg or playing with another dog, it might start humping the dog. Um, again, adrenaline, 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 adrenaline. It's that simple. Adrenaline goes up, must come down. Dog does comfort behaviors to get it down. Um, say it's not even involved in the game. It's in a dog park surrounded by lots of dogs. Movements are stimulant. Again, adrenaline. So. You see other ones where the dog, maybe upon interaction or introduction to a dog, maybe it's a nervous talker, maybe it just actually doesn't feel that comfortable giving meeting others and so defers to it, humping as a way of comforting themselves when making uh, new acquaintances and meeting new, new individuals. Another reason why, or another common time that we see dogs humping is at the end of the day. Um, you know, say a dog's been awake all day, been out to work with you, or you've maybe worked from home and you've just kept it awake all day. Maybe it's after a, a big walk. Um, that's another common time for humping, by the way, after get home from a walk, after the adrenaline of going out for a walk. Um, you know, but yeah, just at the end of the day, the dog will often, we often see humping as a way of unwinding. And that's a cumulative stress. It's not like a big, sudden adrenaline hit, but it's, like uh, think of their emotional tank, like a sink basin. The longer they're awake, the longer it's filling. Without drainage, you get overflow. Humping's overflow. Um, and it could be their teddy, it could be their dog, it could be you, it could be the cat. Um, 
But yes, it is just a way, it's like you having a glass of wine at the end of a long day and poof, decompressing. Then of course, there's the dog that always gets humped. Uh, this dog probably gives off some sort of weird communication pattern, whether it be uncomfortable, anxious, maybe it's guarded, threatened, maybe it's just a bit of a weirdo. Uh, maybe it's hyper all the time and the other dogs just struggle to be around it. Either way, it's giving feedback that the, making the others uncomfortable and the chances are that, that dog's probably maybe has learnt humping in the past or maybe is just, you know, doing it just on a one-off, but that dog that always gets humped is giving out weird feedback. Um, yeah, so lots, of, one of the uh, consequences of humping is, and it can give, bring around a perception that the dog is trying to take control, is because it handles the other individual and stops it moving. Just remember guys, it's trying to stop the movement around it so that it can feel better. It is not trying to influence the emotions of others that's beyond their cognitive ability. So hopefully guys, this sheds a bit of light onto the subject. Um, remember, it's not dominance. Um, that's an old myth. Uh, they're not trying to find their place in the pack or any of that shite. Um, that's how this whole behavior got misunderstood in the first place. Have a good day guys.